Before getting his face-to-face -face meet with the street, banned and then unbanned on kick, a stream from August 30th is found of him trespassing into a Japanese construction site. Uh, Chad, what the did I get myself into? So now, he just got rolled on by 10 Japanese coppers. Why did Unmarked Car? How many cops is this? Yo, what is this? Who are these guys? Okay, okay, go get it. And after he was taken into custody, it looks like he actually live streamed the police looking through his still unlocked phone. As Senkei News' post is in Japanese, but roughly translates into calling him a nuisance broadcaster being arrested for breaking into a construction site, where trespassing in Japan can result in three years in prison and or a fine of 100,000 yen, which is about $600 US. But more importantly, Japan has a 99.8% conviction rate. Now I don't want to venture too far into the land of wishful thinking, but the incident he's being arrested for is over a month old, and Rhea originally covered his nuisance streams over three months ago, where even then he was having frequent police interactions. So could it be possible that the cops were just sitting back recording his streams, letting him build a stronger case against himself, and finally when him and his buddy got dropped in the street, they actually had to go book him before it went too far. I guess that's just wishful thinking, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because this trend of monetizing your fatherless behavior is finally ending. As it didn't end with just him, as more members of the shoe-sized IQ crew are going down as well. They can't tell me what the is going on with Somali right now. The embassy is useless. That's what I'm saying. Gino, they're gonna get you as an accomplice? You think so? I don't know what to do, Chad. I honestly don't know anymore. So I just got off the phone with the uh, Minami police. They're looking for me. Bro, yeah, I don't understand. I can't run. Even if I, if it, even if I went to the airport right now, try to hop on a flight to Thailand, they're probably not even gonna let me on the plane, bro. Oh so my god, they have here? private investigators out here, bro, already yeah. waiting for me. I'm going, you know what I mean? No. Yeah. No. no, that's not okay. No You're harassing me for no reason. I gotta go, guys. I'm 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 getting arrested, so so hopefully that'll be the end of it, because if the Japanese authorities just let this slide, you can almost guarantee it'll spawn more talentless toddlers to come take advantage of your country's culture of kindness. Because if they get out with no jail time and deportation, he's already said nothing will stop him. It's either I get permabanned or I get killed. That's the only way I'm gonna stop streaming. What's up, brother? What, what'd you say? He said, see you later. See you later, boys. I was about to say, we gotta watch out. Look, the only people we watch it out for is the white dudes. We watch, watch we, ain't, we ain't worried about the Japanese. And see how that works? He doesn't respect the Japanese whatsoever, but after getting a taste of the concrete just one time, he knows who he can't bully anymore. And more importantly, he's broadcasting these facts to thousands of people online. So in my opinion, they have to lock him up. Not only as punishment for his actions, but to send the message loud and clear that bothering the Japanese public is not a career, but a pipeline to prison. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how climate activists are finally getting blasted over their unemployed behaviors.